Cohen? Yeah, I'm ready, brother. Okay. Look, I'm delighted to be here in Cairns with, uh, with Warren Ench and with Jenny, uh, with uh, Colin and with Rupert, all of whom have been involved in protecting turtles and dugongs and the fight for protection. So, so we're also today. We're focusing on the take on green areas. Green, this, is, this has been a major area of problem here when we've seen horrible images like around Green Island where animals that are effectively be, uh, to to totally uh, comfortable with humans are then basically ripped out of the water and slaughtered in front of visitors. This sort of activity has got to stop. Part of this program is working towards making sure that we actually take these, exclude these green, uh, these green areas to ensure that that, that would no longer happens. I think that's a very, very important component. So would you see that initial two-year moratorium perhaps being extended forever? Well, it's an initial one, uh, but we want to work with the communities and we want to obviously work towards a permanent ban. You will find, and the other thing is, of course, the only way you're going to know what the numbers are, that whether or not it's sustainable, is by able to do them, to measure this and see what they are. And there, there may well be areas where there, where there is a sustainable amount that can be done for specific traditional purposes, but that's something that we work with those communities. But at the end of the day, if you're going to be talking about appropriate, sustainable management, you actually got to know what you're actually working with. And this is a great opportunity to engage the community so that they themselves understand exactly what is within their area. And in doing so, in doing so, they will then understand what limits and that are that, that or what options are available to ensure that their grandchildren, their great grandchildren, their great great grandchildren will have the opportunity to be able to see these animals in the wild environment. Okay. There is no doubt that there is a commercial exploitation of turtle and dugong meat, completely in contravention of the law. The evidence that Rupert in particular and Colin has gathered from around the country is compelling. It hasn't had a real... No one should be hunting these majestic species. We hope that Australia, uh, with our rampant, rampant raves about Japan and their whales, sees the logic in us not killing our own animals that are endangered and vulnerable.